So as you can see the tank is split up into two sections on this wall so we have a little joint here in the two. So we've got two separate tanks. So I've bared that in mind when I've come to build the tank and make sure I've got a split of two tanks. Right, another thing I want to be looking into doing as well is this little building here. So for you guys who want to try a scratch build, um, this might be the little starting point for you, um, making this little hut. Um, found a scrap bit of card and I've already marked out the sizes of this hut on the card ready for cutting. As you can see it's 30 by 40 by 37 millimeters tall with a drop of four millimeters because there's four bricks between this point and that point here on this back wall and what we'll do we'll cut this out and uh, she'll have a look so basically once you've marked it you marked it out like this each one of these marks here is a fold let me show you. I don't have iron hat in bits. So I need to take the that off. Let's just throw the door in. And throw the window in. If I can pick it up.
Um, if you haven't got a door, you could draw a door onto a piece of card, cut the card to suit the internal dimensions, and then drop it in after it's been painted. Then it looks like you've got a door ready made once it's dropped in. But uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to reinforce the door opening. Uh, you could do the same if you want. And then I can glue that door in there then. And what I'll do with the heart, because it looks like in the photograph it's mounted on a concrete base. Right, so I've reinforced that side, so now I can glue this door in there, and hopefully it'll sit back in there a little bit. I mean, if you've got a Metcalf door, you could use that instead, glue that on the back. Right, so what I'll do now is I'll just put a couple of dabs of super glue on the inside and then that's held. And what I'll do is I'll cut a little tiny piece of paper, put across the top there and paint that red uh, to match what we have in the photograph. And as you can see it looks like there's a concrete roof on the top and it's sitting on a concrete base. You just see the concrete and the gravel there. Right. I shall carry on with the water tower. And I've done the same with the window. I've just added a piece of card on the inside there just to reinforce that before I put the um, window frame in. Now the window frame I just happened to find in the box and what I've done is I've cut out the frame partially to match the window frame in the photograph. So that's ready to just drop in there now and uh, I'll just glue that in there with a little bit of super glue and then add the glazing. So I've added some extra card around the top just to um, strengthen it up, ready to take the roof and then the roof is just going to be one millimeter card. Um, two millimeters I think would have been a little bit on the thick side. So there we go. All I've done is, is a one millimeter overlap all the way around. I'm right in thinking that this would have been a, a lamp iron hut or something like that. Maybe you guys can um, inform me what they would have used this little tiny hut for. There you go, not bad for half an hour's work. Just got to add the glazing and a uh, one mil card for the base, a little bit of paper across there, paint it red, and a little bit of paper across there, paint it grey to represent a concrete lintel. Uh, and that's it. Uh, maybe just put a little bit of paper in there, paint it white. The um, water tower now, and um, just making sure that these pieces do fit. Um, notice a little bit of card. I'm not sure what side is stopping it from closing right up. I think it's this bit here. So it always does pay to check before you glue. It's only a fine slither. It's just stopping it from going together. And the back joint's alright, it's just this joint here. Yeah, I'm happy with that now. We can glue that together.
for two hundred and ninety nine. Right, shall leave that to dry. So while waiting for the paint and glue to dry, I have cut the concrete base. Now with the concrete base, I can make up a pump um, pipe work for the water flow to the crane inside this um, water tower. So we know by the photographs uh, the tank is split in, in half so that would have been two pipes coming down probably to a pump and then to an outlet valve feeding the water crane. So hence why I've got all these bits of junk um, on the bench here just trying to work out how I'm going to do this. So. I'm going to tinker for a little bit and we'll see how I get on with the finished results. So I've had a little bit of a tinker and uh, as you can see we have a platform there uh, which looks like um, iron grating if you like and uh, this is going to be my pump. Needs a gauge and whatever and this is my outlet pipe so if you can imagine all that lot being painted and uh, it's all out of bits and pieces um, this is the entrance so this is the door here so the guy will come in and obviously I'm going to fit a valve handle onto there so you can isolate it if you need to and then on this side we'll have the two pipes coming up to the tank above this building here so I think I've finished tinkering around um, just chopping up all those odds and ends of plastic flashing to make up um, two lots of pipe work coming down into a motor or a pump will then pump it out to the water crane. Um, the valves are just little bits of this just split cut. And I've also managed to use some of the numbers so the valves have even got numbers on them. Um, this will be a gauge. Um, I might put an inline filter in somewhere to trap any dirt that might be in the tanks before it goes into the, into the um, pump. But yeah I think um, that's all I want to do for that so when the LED's in and you look through the windows you actually see something. About an hour or so later um, with everything painted um, it looks like pipework now. Um, as you can see we've got the three valves the main shutoff valve and the two isolation valves going to the two separate tanks um, above the main building and we have a electrical cabinet there which is serving the power to the motor and the pump. If I turn it round you can see the cable running from there to there going to the electrics on the actual pump. So it does pay to save all your little bits and pieces because that's virtually cost us well nothing really apart from time and a bit of paint. Um, yep, yeah, so back on with the water tower. So now that the paint's dry on the windows I'm just fitting it out with, with glazing. Now this packaging is worth keeping um, that the windows are coming because you can cut it out and use it for the glazing for the windows. So I've already got the glazing in, quite snug fit. So what I'm just going to do now is um, use some glue and glaze and just put it around the edges. 
and then that will seal it then we can put them into the building So while waiting for the glue to um, go off on the windows there, I just thought I'd quickly cut a base for the lamp irons hut. Um, I'm not going to bother putting any light in or anything in here. It's probably one of the only buildings on the layout that hasn't got any detail in it. Just a bit of a one mil card, and uh, I'll paint that concrete like we've done there with the roof, and then that's just ready for weathering. Nice little lamp iron hut. I've still got to paint that lintel a red colour, and uh, that's it, job done. So, what I'm doing now is I'm adding some window sills to the windows. Um, the paper is 2mm wide and 13mm long and I'm just using PVA rather than the quick instant glue it's just so that you can get a little bit more time to manipulate the paper in place before the glue goes off so now that we've done the sills the next thing we're going to do is concentrate on these large um, capping stones and um, we've done these before when we did the railway station the capping stones on them and here's one of the jigs so I've worked it out it's the same diameter in there as the 6 mil washer so if you just mark out two and a half mil that way and two and a half mil that way and do another circle you'll have uh, the capping stone for your windows so the next thing to do is to just glue them on same before with a little bit of PVA wood glue as you can see I've stuck the windows in uh, I used Yuhu glue and I put it around the edge of the windows on the recess here because as you can see there's a little bit of a, a lip there and then just push, pushed it through the aperture and it still looks as though you've got a little bit of a, an edge there which is good it hasn't come all the way to the front of the building which is it's good um, I think pushing the card around the back sets the window back a little bit so the, the next bit is to paint uh, this back wall in here and then I can um, glue this to the base that I've painted the inside and added a few posters onto the wall there um, before we stick the building to the base just got to make sure that it's still square because we've got the tank to go on top of the building and it's the building has got to be pretty reasonably square otherwise you're not going to get the tank to slot in you'll see as as we go on so that's ready to go on there now the glue's already on it's just a case of squaring it up four corners with a millimeter lip just enough to see the concrete So we'll let that dry for a little bit. And as you can see, we're finished with the detail inside for now. 
um, still doesn't quite look like the water tower at the moment because it's still box like so what we got to do now is enhance the look of the card by adding extra strips of card to give it some depth I've cut eight strips of card um, 7.5 wide by 50 um, what's going to happen with these these are going to change the look of this building so I'm going to place them on each corner like so uh, but before they get glued on I'm just going to get rid of the white edge by dipping in some reddish paint and just getting rid of that cut edge before I glue it so as you can see I've added the strips of card top and bottom and down the, the edges as well and that changes the look of the building and uh, we're getting close to finishing it now and I've also added a small support there just for the LED and around the back I've added two extra lengths of card in the middle um, just to break up the pattern as you have seen in this video we have gone from this plan to actually building the lower half of the tower. Um, we did have a little bit of a, an issue trying to get the sizes of the base. Um, but I think we've managed it in the end. As you can see I've changed the dimensions on more than one occasion. And um, this is what we've ended up with. So I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen and um, we shall continue this project next week as we concentrate on the tank thanks for watching now bye